What's up guys? Jed Ross and CEO at Piranha uh, coming to you today with a few more Amazon tips. So we have five tips for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and just wanted to, as you make your final preparations for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, take a minute to tell you some of the things that we're doing to make sure our clients have a great uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and a good holiday Q4 season. As you're ramping sales, I think that this is one of the most critical times of the year. You know, time is money and time is your most valuable asset, especially this time of the year. A lot of brands, 42% of their revenue will come in Q4. And so we have a few tips for you to uh, have the best Black Friday, uh, Cyber Monday possible. Tip number one, preparation. You prepared all year for this. You prepared Q1, Q2, Q3, the last week, last month, last quarter. And so to me, like uh, that preparation is really, really key. And I think a key part of that is trusting your preparation. So as you've prepared to, uh, you prepared for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you've prepared for that sprint from Cyber Monday to Christmas. Uh, and obviously at this point, the logistics and the inventory should be mostly squared away. If you have not shipped in all your inventory for Christmas, like we highly recommend that you do so. The cutoffs have obviously moved up. So the cutoff for Black Friday, Cyber Monday has already passed, but the cutoff for Christmas is coming up. It's like December 3rd, December 2nd. Just make sure you get everything in and uh, by December 1st and ship in everything now that you need from now to the end of the year. 2021 is almost over. So to me, like uh, one of the key things in this time frame is to make sure that you, you've got that preparation, you spent all that time to get to this point. And that brings us to our second recommendation, don't touch price. So one of the great things and one of the worst things about Amazon sellers and brands that sell on Amazon is that you put in a lot of work and effort. You, you, you have a, a high focus on, on what you're selling and what you're doing. And that strength can also be a weakness. Like sometimes you have to learn when to stop, when to stop touching things, stop working on things, stop tweaking things, stop testing things. And I think one of the most important things is to not touch price. And so sometimes uh, you'll load coupons, you'll, load, you'll get eligible for lightning deals, best deals, deal of the days, and then you'll go mess with your pricing and Amazon will automatically cancel a Black Friday or Cyber Monday deal and you won't be able to run it. And so this is a key time where you have, you have a, about a few more days where you can really play with price, but the week before Black Friday, lock price, don't mess with it. You don't want to screw up one of the coupons or one of the, one of the deals you've loaded, uh, one of the promotional opportunities you've taken advantage of. So don't touch, so our tip number two is don't touch price. Tip number three, freeze copy and content. So you tweak title tags, backend listing keyword optimization, bullet points, A plus modules, enhanced brand content, brand store. This is the time of the year to stop taking chances, stop baby testing, stop being experimental and sell, sell, sell. You wanna be consistent, you wanna be very careful and calculated if you do make any tweaks or any changes. But the, at this point, the less you do, the more, the more, the, the, the greater the likelihood you're gonna have a great Q4. Um, every year, somebody tweaks something, takes a listing down or a Seller Central account down the week of Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Trust me, you don't want the stress. These days are so valuable that any mistake can cost you 10 times more than it would during a normal time of the year. So learn the lesson that we have written in blood like freeze content co copy catalog, freeze pricing, and just sell, sell, sell. The most important thing during this time of the year is to be light touch and highly consistent, meaning that you monitor those workflows, you monitor your spend, you monitor your campaigns, maybe create a couple new ones, but you're not making big aggressive swings, uh, adding a bunch of keywords that may have a potentially flagged one that could take you down. You're not making a bunch of image or listing updates that could potentially take your listings down or your account. And, and so just being very, very careful with those type of uh, workflows will help ensure that you have the best Black Friday, Cyber Monday possible. The um, fourth suggestion, and we've hit on this, really know when to stop. Know when to stop and when to focus on, on sell, 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 and, and when to lean into that seasonality. So the week before 
Black Friday and Cyber Monday and the week after tend to be the most effective times to run promotions, run deals, or to run marketing campaigns. And so you're gonna get the best conversion rate. Everybody runs their best deal on Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And the principle for us is to zig when everybody else zags. And so uh, everyone else is gonna run their best deals Black Friday, Cyber Monday. For sure, run a deal during that frame team time frame too. But you don't have to run your best deal. That's one of the things that we've learned from experience. And finally, our fifth suggestion is run more sponsor brand and sponsor brand video campaigns. So everybody during this time of the year spins up a bunch of sponsored product uh, ads. That's the most common ad type and you get a lot of competition there for the digital real estate. But if you focus on spinning up sponsor brand ads, sponsor brand video ads, or even sponsor display, you tend to get a better return on ad spend. So focus on the ad types, the principle, focus on the ad types that take more time and effort to create because you're gonna have less competition there, you're gonna get a better return on ad spend. Those are five, tip, five tips for final Black Friday, Cyber Monday holiday preparations. Hope you have a fantastic Q4, hope you crush it, and uh, we'll see you in the marketplace.